being a person who has made this magazine now for years, years and years, how cool is it to know that you are, you are a part of the Tennessee tradition, you know, the Tennessee football tradition that they, there are people who have collector's editions. Like Audrey earlier said, is there any way to get the last 18 years or something like that in the comments? It was pretty good. I can't remember how she worded it, but uh, she said, is there any way to get like an 18 year discount and back issues? <laughs> you you um, can get, uh, I think 35 on uh, footballtime.com. You can order all 35 if, if you've missed out. So that, that, is, is, a, awesome. that is an option. So, you know, there are people who have all, all 35 issues. Like they have a, all, every single one of them and they've got a collection of them. How cool is it to know that you're part of creating a collector's item for a, a program, a story, this Tennessee? Well, thank, thanks. That's that's a cool question. Uh, it's really neat. Uh, I'll tell you the little backstory there. And I, I'd like I need to sit down and do this with my grandfather. But this is volume 37. I am 37. So this started the year I was born. Um, it was going if you've seen the kickoff books uh, around town, high school and, and the Tennessee one as well. They, it makes it its way through East Tennessee. That was going on well before that. But my grandfather started this um, just kind of somebody who always loved Tennessee athletics and would get do anything he could to get into a game when he was younger. And then now um, made that a career for 40 plus years now, as far as what he's been able to do. And, and he's in his eighties, still works full time making this magazine with my grandmother. Um, That's awesome. And they have a home office. They work full time. My grandfather, Don Carringer, push mows his yard still. I mean, just, <laughs> like uh just kind of an american hero honestly um and so it's really cool to see him turn something that was uh, a passion of his into something that has been such a, a passion for so many people for for so long and so that's sort of what got me into sports media was growing up in that culture and traveling around I was, as a kid so lucky i got to go to every tennessee home and away game for, for until college when I like I, I couldn't be gone all the time because um, I went with them and they went to take pictures for the magazine so so blessed um, and so many great memories of my dad my grandmother my grandfather on those road trips my uncle uh, growing up so that that's been cool just personally and then seeing what it means to people is really neat I know we, we heard that uh, some people have been buried with these in their caskets Wow. Um, so like that's just it's like hard to wrap your your, your mind around um and but the support you know wouldn't be doing this without everyone being excited about it year in and year out and even as uh print media declines everyone wants their hands on a glossy tennessee 128 page full color magazine every year and uh it's really cool it's really cool it means a lot uh, and wouldn't be able to do it without everybody being so excited and uh, the last few years have been really fun, honestly. Just uh, the energy around Tennessee football that Heifel's brought, Danny White's brought, uh, has made it a, a lot more fun than it was maybe some previous years. <laughs> That's a fair point. You're not having to write about falling on helmets anymore. That's a good thing. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Football Time in Tennessee Magazine. It is available right now. And so uh, we're all jonesing for football. So it is, it is the time to go get it.